everyone. I hope that this summer is treating you all well and that you are all finding time um, for yourselves in the midst of the craziness that summer scheduling can be for us all. And if this is your winter season, I hope you're staying warm and uh, snuggly in the cold. I wanted to talk about today tarot and valuing ourselves and knowing our own worth. And instead of talking about several different tarot cards that can share this message with us and help us to see our way through to self-worth and valuing ourselves and our experiences clearly, I wanted to focus on just one card in tarot that does this. And my experience with the Nine of Wands or the Nine of Scepters, Nine of Rods, depending on which tarot system you're using, tarot deck you're using, is a little bit different than some people. So if this doesn't ring true for you, then what I would encourage you to do is to look at what we're going to talk about today with the card that you feel applies the most to that in tarot or in local deck if you choose to use that. What's the matter, bud? Um, Vincent and Tula are with me today, so we're all uh, sharing our tarot journey together with you. So the card that I want to talk about in regards to knowing your own worth is the Nine of Wands. This is the Joie de Vivre deck by Paulina Cassidy. And it's a deck that I've been using a lot uh, in August. And uh, the Nine of Scepters in the Tarot of the Vampires by Ian Daniels. And this is the image that I think of the most whenever Nine of Wands or Nine of Scepters comes up in any type of work that I'm doing. To me, the Nine of Wands, Nine of Scepters, is encouraging us to take the stance of the Holy Warrior. So this is someone who believes absolutely in the cause that they're fighting for. And nothing is going to stop them from following that cause and from fighting for that, uh, fighting to serve that need. And so that's what I always think of whenever I work with the Nine of Scepters. And honestly, I think that that started because I was reading Phantasmagoria, which uh, is the book that accompanies Terror of the Vampires, and he talks about being the holy warrior when you step into the Nine of, of Scepters. So that's really stuck with me over the years with tarot, and it's something that I come back to a lot when I find that I'm denying myself. Um, and that could be personally, it could be that I'm denying my path, or denying my own needs when it comes to situations around me. And so the Nine of Wands, Nine of Scepters, will always show up to encourage me to remember that being a holy warrior, so being a holy warrior really starts and begins within. And you have to have, at certain times in your life, a fierce protectiveness about taking care of yourself um, and your needs and the needs of those closest to you. And so tarot includes that as part of our journey through the Wheel of Life. Tarot includes this idea of being a holy warrior for our own path and our own desires. And this is really talking about a time where we're encouraged to explore what those needs and desires are so that we can be holy and um, almost terrible in our fierceness of, of uh, accepting only that which serves that purpose and that path. And so that's really very exciting for me to think about. And so it's fun to sit with and start to play with and understand what are our desires and our needs. And so you might find when the Nine of Wands shows up for you continuously, or you're seeing it a lot in spreads as you're working with different clients, that there's an aspect of not defending ourselves and not standing up for ourselves and our own worth and our own path, which really means that we don't believe in our own worth enough to allow that to step to the forefront of our concerns and intentions. And so what we're being encouraged to do is to understand our own intrinsic worthiness and exactly what it is that we want to experience in this life. And it's okay for us to really examine that, to really look at that, and to be very strong 
about what we want to experience and understanding of the fact that it's up to us to make sure that that is our experience. Um, a very long time ago, I was watching one of the Four Queens videos, and she shared with us that we are the main character of our own story. And if we're not the main character of our own story currently, then it's up to us to change that. So be the main character of your own story, as uh, Kelly Ann from the Four Queens it has encouraged us all to do. And be really ferocious about understanding what it is that we want to experience and then ensuring that we are actually experiencing it. And so what is the Nine of Wands encouraging us to do? To have patience, to stand firm, to be strong in our beliefs, to be strong about what our worth is and what we're, we want to and will experience and are experiencing in our life. And to me, it's about being firm about ensuring that that's our experience. So if you're finding that the Nine of Wands is coming up for you a lot, or you're really going through a time in your experience right now where people are constantly stepping on you, where your needs aren't being met, where you feel that your voice isn't heard, and you feel very taken advantage of, very drained energetically by the people around you, that's letting you know that it's time to step into your holy warrior attitude and energy. I mean, just look at the image on this card in the Nine of Scepters. You should be passionate and filled with love for the life that you're living and excited about living the life that you're living. And that doesn't mean that there aren't days that are tough or, or that aren't difficult or that we have to, you know, experience things that can be painful for us. Living a life we love doesn't mean that we don't encounter those things. But living a life we love does mean that we're the main character of our story and that we're giving ourselves the time and the energy to explore what's important to us. So Nine of Wands is encouraging us to step up to the plate as far as that goes. And that might mean that it's time to make some big decisions. And that might mean that it's time to end certain relationships that aren't serving us anymore. And that might mean that it's time to absolutely change our beliefs about certain things in our lives and to let go of things that just aren't working for us anymore. And it might mean that it's time to actually use our voice and be that lion that's roaring. And it's okay if it's time to do that. It's okay to step into that. And so that's really what I hope when you work with the Nine of Wands or the Nine of Scepters, Nine of Rods, I hope that this message comes up for you a little bit too. And let me know if it does for you. Um, the fact that we have to be fearless and we have to be fearsome in, ex in experiencing a life that's worth living for ourselves. You know, the beauty of having that patience, finding that strength within ourselves to weather anything that is really pushing our buttons and is really difficult for us to be in this, any situation like that. Finding the wherewithal to navigate that in a way that serves our best interests and meets our needs as well is really empowering and can be life-changing if we allow it to be. So hopefully wherever you are in your journey right now, the Nine of Wands encourages you to understand your own self-worth. And if you're listening to this and you find that you can't even place where your own self-worth is, if you can't even find anything about yourself that feels worthy of living a life that's worth living, then the Nine of Wands is really encouraging you to sit with and make some serious changes for yourself. Life can't change unless you change it for yourself. And yes. part of that is deeply loving and valuing yourself as a being too. So it's really an encouragement and a clarion call for you to start loving yourself. And that means that sometimes you have to start in very small steps, small ways to understand your own worth and see the beauty of yourself just as you are right now, not needing to change anything about yourself. I think the Nine of Wands is really a portal in a lot of ways for us, even though it is in the minor arcana. And so we might look at it as a card that's more about everyday life and not something that is, is showing us a big picture thing that needs to be resolved in our lives. But the beauty of the Minor Arcana is that they are portals as well for us. And Nine of Wands is really encouraging us to be very aware 
of what it is we're fighting for and if it's worth fighting for. And as always, that should be fighting for our own passion and joy in life and in our experience. So, we are sending you much love in your card working, in your work as intuitive beings and in honoring yourself. And really, I encourage you all to sit with just how much you do value yourself. And if you find that that's lacking, allow yourself to do joyous work to change that so that you are as valuable to yourself as you are to everyone else. And so that your needs are being met as well. So many blessings. Um, again, we hope you're all having a wonderful season wherever you are. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.